Let's run the test divisors module and look at the output in Wing. Each dot represents a successful test. You see that there were two tests and that they ran pretty quickly. Now let's introduce an error. Instead of starting with an empty list, let's add 99 as the initial value in our divisors list. We'll save the file and rerun the tests. This time we get a lot of feedback. Instead of dots, we see Fs for fail. We're shown the header of each function that had a failure and also its doc string. We're also shown the assertion statement that failed and even some details about what the problems were. At the bottom, we see a short summary of the tests that failed. Now let's fix that bug. And I'll also introduce another bug. By changing this if statement and deleting the guard that checks if the item was zero. It's time to retest. Only one of the tests divided by zero, so there's only one problem this time. We see one dot for a passed test and one F for the failure. Again, we see information about the test that failed. This time, since the error was caused during the running of the getDivisors function, we are shown that function and the value of its arguments when the error happened. Here, we see the line that was executing that caused the error and what type of error it was. As you can see, we get more detailed feedback with PyTest than we do with DocTest. We also have separated the testing from the code, which allows us to write a lot of tests without affecting the readability of the code. Typically, we will write one test file for each function we want to test, and we will write one test function for each call to that function we are testing.